discuss about how to draw science diagram. Now, oh, sir, is there any issue with science diagram? Yes, of course. In my teaching life, to draw science diagram is a major problem with many students. Uh, and actually, uh, people do not have a concept that there is a difference between art or drawing and science drawing. There is a clear cut difference. It is not the same. So, let's today discuss about how to draw science diagram. The first thing you have to keep in your mind that many students they said that sir I am not very good with art. I cannot draw very well. But in science you need not to be very skillful. You need not to be very skillful at all. The first thing we learn today about what teacher want in science diagram. In science, there is also physics, chemistry, biology and other subject. Uh, there is a slight difference between each and every subject category. Generally, we discuss about biological drawing, but whatever the drawing, physics, chemistry or biology, the basic rule is simple. What is the basic rule? What teacher want in a drawing? Before going to that point, I start with the size of the paper. I hope all of you know that this is known as portrait. This is known as portrait. And when we turn the page, this is known as landscape. So this is landscape here and this is portrait. Generally in states government, the exam copy that the portrait, but in CBSC they use the landscape, ruled landscape pages. Whatever CBSC or state board, you can draw a diagram either in portrait or landscape. Sir, if I study in state board, how can I draw in landscape? Simply, you simply turn it. Suppose you are in CBSC board, you need not need to draw in landscape. You simply turn your copy. So, first you have to decide before draw a diagram whether you have to draw it in portrait or landscape. Next, in a diagram, you should draw a diagram either full page or half page, even in your homework copy also. There is a misconception among you that if I draw a small diagram, suppose I draw a circle like this, say it will be very quick and easy but it is terribly wrong concept when i draw a bigger circle suppose i draw a bigger circle now the muscles these muscles are working the wrist muscles but when i draw a very small circle the muscles of my finger is working very heavily there is an intense pressure on these muscles so drop that wrong concept try to draw in big size use full page or a half page never draw uh, below the half page you have to draw either full page diagram or half page diagram this is the first lesson try it next what teacher wants in a diagram science diagram first of all we want the drawing or or diagram. First, there should be that diagram. Number one, we want a drawing. Second, we want pointings. Pointings. But you should write the pointings either right hand side or left hand side or above or below. If the pointings are more, you can use both right and left side. But generally, up to the level of plus 10 or 12, we can use the right hand side and if we need, we can use also the left hand side. But you have to maintain 
an imaginary margin imaginary margin for example i point out this thing then find out this part but they should maintain an imaginary margin if number of pointings is more i can utilize the left hand side but again there i have to maintain an imaginary line an imaginary margin then i write part about the pointings there so first this is the second thing in a diagram in science science teacher want three things number one the drawing itself second the pointing and third that is generally forgot by everybody the third one is the heading heading you have to write what is that picture what is that diagram generally it is heading that means you have to uh, write it at the top but in science we prefer the bottom position the below position we write the heading just below the diagram so three things drawing pointing and heading now there are several questions sir i write pointing in all capitals how so let's see i prefer you should not write the pointings in capital letters you may write it two ways suppose i am pointing out uh say plastic i can write in this way plastic or i can write all small no problem whichever you prefer you can start with a capital letter or you can write small other than if it is name on somebody okay so these are the thing and the drawing science drawing is very easy why it is very easy we do not judge uh, your art skill there of course we judge your art skill it is our duty to improve your art skill also science drawing skill but we want only the proportion what is that sir proportion uh, actually proportion means uh, suppose again there is an insect you draw that one of an insect to draw like this way here <coughs> suppose the insect the part of is that way okay now uh, if you draw a head like this then the body like this so there is a problem with the proportion suppose you draw a human so there you have to draw human like this okay and draw very simple that like this now suppose we draw the human in that way that is the head then this is the body so that is not proportionate the proportion of the head is not uh, fit with the proportion of the body and also the leg so in science we only watch whether the diagram is in proper proportion so it is very easy you need not so much skill to draw a proportionate figure so you have to keep in your mind that in science we want the diagram the pointing and the heading and the diagram should be proportionate i am planning that uh, i will deliver uh, uh, several lecture, lectures regarding this drawing skill because uh, you need to know more about drawing how to draw different drawings in science but for today that is all thank you